gentlemen, and welcome to Retro Gaming with Hopper. And as always, thank you for watching. Today, we're going to work on the sound. We got a lot of, a lot of stuff to do yet on this machine. The one thing we got to do is take care of the sound. And if you remember, the last time we were looking at the sound, if you turn it up, that's what you hear. So today we're going to work on that, see if we can't get the sound up and running on this machine. And hopefully we can. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to try changing out the volume control. Hopefully that's that's all we'll have to do and this will be a very short video. If not then we're going to have to get into the soundboard and see what's going on with the soundboard. And hopefully hopefully this takes care of it. If not, like I said, we'll we'll dive into the soundboard and see if we can't find out what the hell is going on. And if you haven't been watching this series uh, this is uh, episode 7. No, this is episode 8. Sorry about that. I mean, we started out with episode 1 where we went through the machine and I showed you uh, what we had to work with and what we were going to have to do to this machine. Uh, episode 2, we serviced all the boards in it just by, you know, soldering the, the pins and uh, re reflowing all the pins and all that just to make sure that we were in good shape there so when we plugged it in we didn't have any problems uh, we got her plugged in we got her lit up at least we got the attract lights we're going in the general illumination then we went ahead and we cleaned the playing field got it all cleaned up and then then the next episode which was one, two, three, uh, episode four or five Christ, it's been so long I can't remember uh, which ones are which anymore uh, we touched up the playing field, and then we uh, clear-coated the whole playing field, steel wooded it, and waxed the crap out of it, and got her all nice and smooth, and everything's all taken care of. And then we did an LED kit on it, which uh, turned out really well. And then we uh, started working on getting getting the machine up and running. We got the machine up and running. Uh, we changed uh, a couple transistors on the driver board and got that all taken care of. Uh, we had some switches that weren't working. Got the switches working and we got it to boot into a game. Uh, we tested all of our switches. Everything's working as far as that goes. And, and now we're down to the sound. We gotta uh, straighten out the sound and once we get the sound up and running like it should then we need to finish up the back glass which is almost done and we can put that in and take a look at it and see if that's what we want to do or if we're gonna have to order a new one anyway hmm. we'll see so that's where we're at now we're gonna do the sound today get the sound working and once we get the, all the sound working on this then we can go ahead and uh, finish up that back glass and put it up in and see how it looks and then we can start playing hopefully. But that's from episode one until now. That's where we're at. So I'll get you set up in the tripod. Uh, we're going to change that volume control and see if that cures our problem. Hopefully it will. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Okay, changing these is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, wherever you take the wires off, that's where you're going to put them back on.
go ahead and mount that back up where it belongs and then we'll turn the machine on and see what we got. Okay, got her all installed. Now let's turn it on. See, our hum didn't go away. Oop, we need. We've got to put one of those in there. There we go. Okay, the sound's turned all the way down. Now, you can see it sitting right there. And, and see, we still hear some crackling. Yep. So we still got a problem in our sound. It's working to some degree, but <laughs> yeah, it's working to a certain degree, but we've still got a problem in our soundboard. So we'll be we'll pull that soundboard out and we'll go over it really, really good and see if maybe we got a bad amp in it or something like that. Okay, we got our. Okay, here's our soundboard, and we got it out, and I was checking on some things. Uh, I just uh, checked my work on my my caps. I checked all the transistors. All the transistors are good. Uh, this transistor here, this is the amplifier here. Goes right out to the speakers. It seems to be working fine. Uh, but when I was uh, testing this row here of of resistors, as you can see, we have 4.5k, 4.6k, 4.5k, 4.5k, 4.5k. These are all all these resistors are the exact same resistors. Now we get up here, we have a 2.2. 2.2 and 0.2, which is a 200 cone. 200. So these last three here are really questionable. I don't think I'm measuring anything else on the circuit board. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change these one, these three out, and then we'll we'll check some other ones. Now. These are 42K, 4.2K uh, resistors. And how you come up with that is uh, you can go to digikey.com. It's a resistance resistor color code calculator. You just look at your bands, and this one is a yellow, red, red, and a gold, which is 5%. And it comes up to a 4.2k ohms at 5%. Now I don't have any 4.2s, but I do have some 4.7, 4 which we should be okay because if you measure if you measure these, we get 4.5. So they'll all be the same all the way up through there. And hopefully we can clear up the static in this. Uh, we have the sound is in there, but we have really bad static. And I'm hoping that we're uh, picking up some static through. Maybe some of these resistors are just not uh, cutting or filtering, which they're not really filters, but they may be sending too much to our caps or our filter capacitor or whatever. This should be the filter capacitor here. Usually the biggest one is a filter cap. So we'll get these three changed out. Okay, I pulled that very first one that was that was uh, measuring at 0 .20. Let me see if I can get you get the glare off of that. That's better. And 
Now we'll test it while it's out of the board. Come on. And you can see there is nothing wrong with it. So what we were doing is we were measuring something something else that's in this circuit with that with that little resistor. So now we know that uh, that one is good. That's the only way to uh, make sure unless you have an oscilloscope or or so that you can actually test everything out. You know while it's while you power it up. You can power them up and then test it with the oscilloscope and find out where where the problem lies. Uh, this is just more of a, a cheap poor man's way of doing it. Since uh, I'm poor. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Since I don't have the money to buy an oscilloscope and all the test equipment to test these, this is just a, what we're doing here is just an easier way of, uh, or a quick way to check some things out if you find something bad is to to pull it and test it in circuit and if it's not testing properly pull it out and then test it out of the circuit and you'll get a different reading or if it is bad you'll get the same reading or worse so you see our resistors are good so I'll go ahead and put him back in and we'll move on I tested everything on here uh, Everything that I can test, or the only thing that is suspect that I cannot test, is the amplifier. But, so happens, I have a new one. So we're going to replace that amplifier and see if that doesn't uh, cure and clear things up. Cure our ailing soundboard with its bad cough. That's what it reminds me of anyway. But let's, I'm going to change that out and then, okay, last night after I went in the house I I did some nighttime reading, some bedtime reading to see if I could figure out anything on this as to why we have such bad noise and the crackling. Okay, and what I did come up with is a modification for noisy type 1 soundboards. On the type 1 soundboards, Williams did not use a small value capacitor on the input to the 7805 plus 5 volt regulator as recommended by the manufacturer. The bypass capacitor is used to keep the noise off the uh, plus 12 volt voltage rail, which is used by the power amplifier AC, IC. And that's our little guy here, which we replaced him. I replaced him and nothing. It did clean clean up the sound. Uh, it was crisper, but we still had the real bad crackling and the hum. Okay. Uh, installing a uh, 22 UF capacitor across the input pin. Pin 1, left pin from the front, and ground pin 3, center pin. On the 7805 regulator can significantly reduce the amount of noise and hum on the sound cards. Now, I don't think this is going to uh, cure all of our problems, but if we can start cleaning up some of it, we get the hum out of it, uh, we'll have a better chance of maybe pinpointing uh, where our real crackly, bad crackly is coming from. And on the schematic for the card, <coughs> IC11 is our 5 volt uh, 7805 5 volt regulator which is this little guy sitting right there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a capacitor a 22 right in between number one pin and number three pin which is your center we'll get those two We'll get that put in, and we'll put it in and, and see if that doesn't help some of our hum and uh, clean up. Maybe some of the crackling, I don't know. We're going to find out. So let's let's do that first and go from there. Um, if that doesn't do it, then we're going to leave the board in and start testing some voltages to see if maybe uh, our voltages are too high and that's giving us our crackling. So let's... 
let's put this little guy, let's put him in first and see what happens. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. This is just from uh, this is just from the troubleshooting repair manual for uh, Williams pinball machines. Uh, the schematic I found in Gorgar's uh, schematics. They had uh, the Type 2 with the speech in there, and right under it was this one, which is the one that we're working on. This is the Type 1. So I got that all printed out as well. But yeah, this came from Gorgar's, which is kind of strange, but uh, Gorgar must have been kind of a one that they just threw all the schematics in for everything. So let's get that that little 22 capacitor put in. I do want to note it doesn't say here which lead you should put on where, but if you read this, installing a 22 UF capacitor across the input pin, pin 1, left pin from the front, and ground pin. Ground. So, the minus side on your capacitor will go to the center, which is the short lead, and the long lead is the plus, which will go on the number one pin. Okay, folks, we got to put back in, and same thing, just total static. I mean, you couldn't even, it's just too loud to even do anything with. So I finally, I broke down, I figured I spent enough time on that. I can spend time on it another time and work on that. So what I did was we ordered a brand new one from NVRAM. This one has, uh, has all the new firmware from January of 2021. So this is what we're going to use. We're going to put this guy in and see what it sounds like with that in there. Uh, I went through, I tested the speaker, and it wasn't the speaker in the machine. It was crackling. I uh, bypassed the remote switch and same thing. I changed the... Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> amp, changed the amp in it, checked all our voltages over the whole board and all the, everything was good, uh, put the logic probe on the um, CPU and it's activated so it is working. Uh, sound ROM, same thing, I put a new um, socket in, put the ROM back in, same thing. Uh, the PIA, we're getting juiced to it, and we have some activation on it, so it's not that either. And the voltage regulator, I checked it, it's good. Uh, you've seen I put that little capacitor, like they said, on the back side, and that, that helped with our uh, hum. We got rid of a lot of hum, but the crackling's still in there. And what I am kind of figuring... Oh, I changed a couple transistors because they were kind of close, so I changed them. Same thing. Uh, in fact, I changed that one there and that one right there. Changed that one, same thing. So what I'm thinking is it might be our crystal. Crystal may be a little, uh, a little sloppy. We may have to... Uh, get a new crystal. Uh, the only thing I can't really test are these small chips because they're a little different testing them than other ones. I actually need to put an oscilloscope on those to to check and see where I can if I can locate the crackling where it's actually coming from. Uh, I changed some resistors that were close and same thing. So we went over that, you know, new cap kit Refloat all the pins. Voltages are right going in. Uh, fuses are good and everything. I just, it's just really being a, you know what. So like I said, I, I kind of really just decided to hell with it. 
I'll come back to it another day for maybe another machine or something or if I get another one in uh, maybe I can swap some stuff out and see if I can't figure out what it is actually I need to get my oscilloscope set up and start uh, working with my oscilloscope again instead of uh, just kinda throwing stuff at it and hoping it sticks uh, the you know the the driver boards are easy enough those you can figure out because there's not a whole hell of a lot to them and if you have your schematics you can check your uh, 7408s uh, your solenoid or your solenoid PIA and your um, light solenoid or light PIA you can check your relay and everything I mean you can put that in and you can pretty much tell what's going on you can turn on the machine and start testing if you have lights out you can test each one of your pens here to see if your lights are going out and if they're not it's really easy you, you flip this over in fact here let me go grab another solenoid board that I have here for extras that uh, need some work done on them uh, let's just uh, say for example where are we at yeah, here we are. That um, this third pin. If that third pin is not, you don't have any voltage with the machine on on this third pin. You can flip this, flip your board over. You go to your number third, your three, three. Yep. There it. Is. Yep. Your third pin. And you follow that up, and it's the third resistor down. One, two, three, and it's here. Check him. And if he's good, then you can check your your resistor over. Make sure it's good. And then the same thing. Everything's in line. Here, you go one, two, that one's missing. Three. And then your resistor. One, two, three. Check him. Check your little resistors, check your transistors over here. You know, so that's pretty easy. You can follow that right along and and check all that stuff. Same with your solenoids. Your solenoids are the same way. If you have one up here that's not firing, put it in test mode. Put it on that one that's not firing. And you can pinpoint which one it is. And then you can follow it right over and change your transistor if it's bad or or if it's just a resistor or a big resistor, whatever. You can get them pretty well squared away. They're fairly cut and dry. And uh, let's see, I did want to show you one thing here. If I can find, there it is. This. You see that? That's not using the right fuse in your flippers couldn't figure out why they kept blowing fuses on their flipper solenoids so what do they do probably some clod hopper wrapped tin foil or some other crap around it and this is what you get you actually fry the circuit board and now it's junk but you know, I, I keep them. I keep them around because you know we may have a couple good PIAs, some good 70, 7408s only, but they're not that expensive anyway. And when you pull them out, you want to socket them anyway. So this one is just a parts board. You know, if I don't have one of these big resistors and I have a board in that's bad, I can go ahead and just swap them out, and away you go. So that's. So let's get that new soundboard in and see what we sound like. If we get rid of its cold or if we're got... No, I checked. I keep thinking about that, but no. Uh, to continue on, what I did was I... This is where our sound comes in from our solenoid board. Uh, when you hit one of the... There are certain solenoids that also trip the, the sound and they come in through here. So I unplugged that and we still had the crackling and everything so that eliminated anything off of our 
solenoid board so it's actually on this soundboard. Okay, before we get too carried away of putting this in, I'm all excited on getting it in. <laughs> we got to set this board up. Uh, I got absolutely no instructions with this card from. Get out of here. There we go. From nvramwibbly.com. Revision 6. January 2021. This is the replacement for our little rectangle. soundboard which is that one you can see they've come a long way in 40 years we still have our our amp and our 5 volt regulator but up here this is our switch let me get some of this crap moved around a little bit so I can show you okay this little jumper is our switch here for different sound this is just a ding 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 and this gives you some actual uh, tune sounds sounds a lot better in in this position here I'm thinking one is gonna be one two so we wanna pull this and move him over to two now on here it's a O, O and one. So it might be backwards, but you know this isn't going to affect anything. It'll just sound, and then we can uh, shut it, shut it down, and swap it and see what it sounds like on the other one. This one here is our remote speak, remote volume control. The remote volume control. I want to keep the remote volume control on this machine so you can get at it through the door and turn them, turn it uh, up and down instead of opening up the back box. Uh, I'm going to leave it right here. I'll leave the remote volume unplugged and we'll see if our little volume pot here or if we need to swap this over so we have remote volume because it just says remote volume bypass. That's all it says. It doesn't say, you know, pointing to either one. And then we get this little here we have all of these jumpers and if you read down here sound sound one for flash scorpion stellar I can't read it through the camera uh, uh, stellar wars time warp and tri zone and so we're in the scorpion so, uh, star one, it says sound one. We go up here and sound one, one star. There we go, one star. After sound one, one star. On, 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 on. All four of them are on. And we are on, 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 and on. So, by golly, it's set up for our scorpion. But this sound card will also fit a uh, laser ball and then uh, defem the defumber. Defender video game uh, has not been tested. So we they have never tested it on that, but see they have Defender down here. It's on there, the three, three stars. And you have off on off. But uh, when I was reading, it said that these will work on the Defender video game, too. But this particular Revision 6 has not been tested on it. So I think we have this set up the way we want it. Like I said, we can swap these two around. But as long as our sound jumpers are in the right place, we'll get the sound we need. And then we can move this back and forth to see which one we like better. And like I said, I want the remote uh, volume control, so we'll see if we have to move that over. So now let's get this put in and see what it sounds like. With it in, like I said, I left the remote unplugged. 
So what do you think? Oh, one other thing I didn't tell you is I went right straight through um, env nvramweebly.com and picked that up. It was 102 with $3 shipping. So it, you know, for, you know, now we know for sure that that's going to be reliable if it works. I'm just saying if it works. Uh, we won't ever have to worry about the sound card in this. Uh, yes, I have two screws missing. That's the way the machine came. I'll round up a couple. But for test purposes, it'll be all right. I got the two top ones in and it's grounded. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay, we're all lit up. It may be on remote now. Let's see what, what we get. Bing, bing, bong. Huh. Uh, no, I'm not going to like that. Huh? What do you think? <laughs> okay, we have that now. I think right now it's set on uh, using the volume pot on the board. So let me turn this off and I'm going to uh, swap that over and plug in our remote and I'm going to move our little dude over here over to the other side and see what it sounds like on those. Okay, swap them around. And get her turned on. And now let's see what it sounds like. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna like this much better. Yeah, I like this much better. <laughs> what do you think? Much better? I'll put a ball. timer counting down <laughs> and see lights out lanes which didn't but <laughs> All right, that that's gonna do it for today. Uh, I got accomplished what I wanted to get accomplished. Uh, we got the soundboard in, and it's sounding really good. So I'll leave your comments in the comment section below because there isn't one up top, so you have to go down below. And if you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel and I'll bring you more of these cool pinball videos. So, until...
Till next time. See ya.